Hello once again everybody, welcome back to Full Play Games, my name is Tom and this is Satisfactory. Now I'm recording this directly after the last Satisfactory video, so yes, I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather. Hopefully I won't cough too much, but uh, never mind. <laughs> we'll just have to make do, won't we? So, if you remember, last week, well, only about 10 minutes away from me, but uh, last week for you guys, we built our basic copper factory. What we'll be doing now is getting rid of this. We are going to be encasing this in, <laughs> uh, in a proper factory and hopefully uh, actually doing some, some balancing. So this is going to be a little mathematical challenge now, I think, because um, we need to figure out how many of these can we actually make uh, work with uh, belts and things. So we've got 20 iron rods per minute and 24 screws per minute. So you could get three of these off 160 belt. But you'd be you'd be pushing it. You'd only be able to get two off a 60 belt for the screws. For these, you've got 15 per minute, so that's good. You'd get two off a 60 belt for the iron plates. So if you've got two of these, that's a 30. Combine it then with three of these. Yes, three of these then. See, 24, that's an interesting number. That's an interesting number, isn't it? Um, you're definitely going to need more than a, a normal belt. So three of those is 72. So you add the, what was it, 30 from the two others. That gives you 102, so you've got... You've got a two belt going in. So like I've got here, you'd have a Mark II belt coming out of this. Going into a splitter, you'd need... No, 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 you'd need 30. you need 30 coming out for that. Uh, for two of those. Uh, I suppose you could, in theory... Hold on a minute, I'm, I'm doing some more maths now. I'm doing some more maths, excuse me. Okay, and we're back. So yes, we're going to be doing two two of these. Um, we could possibly stretch that to three, but as I said, it's probably a little bit of a stretch. Um, I don't know. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll have three of these. We'll have to make sure that we're running on a... <clears throat> Mark II belt coming out there. We can have a Mark I belt coming out there for these. Um, either way, uh, that's how it's going to have to work. So all the way back here, we're going to—we're really going to have to do something about uh, routing power cables because this isn't quite right, is it? <laughs> yes. Um, so what we will need, of course, is just extend this. Then we'll leave a bit of room there. Obviously, we can't really expand that way if we've got a um, <clears throat> if we've got a factory over here. So, just run this up there. That's fine. We don't really have an off. We don't really have a lot of width. But thankfully, though, it is just a one-stage factory. So, what we can do is just uh, do it sideways, like we did with the concrete. I say sideways, I know exactly what I mean by that. Uh, so yeah, that was built there because of that. We're going to need as much room as we can get. So that's pretty much all the room we can afford. And that didn't go right, did it? Okay, <laughs> out of concrete again. There we go, our concrete is full. Yay. Might as well take two stacks then while we're at it. Uh, we're fine for iron plates. We'll grab another one. We'll grab another one.
Alright, it fell in the floor. It's nice to be all the way along because it's interfering a bit with the power of the cable wire. Alright, so we need our three. Our three storage containers over here aligned properly. So we'll have our door on this one. A storage container there. There. And... Are we in the right spot? I'm sure we're in the right spot here. There we go. Okay, so let's get um, some walls in place. It's not real wall I want. Unless we want that one. And then we can put some of these in too. There we go. Now I think we're going to have to do what I did with my... Um, with my biomass plant over here, just to mark which one of these is which. Uh, we'll have a look. We'll have a look a bit later. That's all fine. Obviously, yes, we've got all this power cabling going in place if you don't necessarily want it to go. Uh, we'll deal with that later. But we'll need all three of these coming down here and along. So how many of these do we need? That's a big question. I th what was it? A three and a two? I think we'll go for three and a two. We don't really have an awful lot of room. We, do, we really don't have an awful lot of room. Um, yeah, just rotors and cables. That's fine. We've got a fair amount of rotors in here. Actually, what we can do, we can just, we can just dismantle all of this right now, to be honest. So we're going to have to uh, redo the power to the concrete plant eventually. Bit that one instead, there we go. Right, uh, we do just need a bit more cable, and that's fine. Is that so over here? That should be more than enough. Now, then, so that goes to there. If we run that cable over this side, that should be fine. Like I, <laughs> like I keep telling myself, I I'm going to do this later, I'm going to do this later. I'm, I'll do this now because this is actually impacting um, <laughs> my, my build space. So we have our assemblers. There's... That's fine. That's fine. We'll, we'll give it an entire um, thingy of room there. Gonna have to put some more put some more of these in. Just a couple more. Will a couple more be enough? Might have to add more later. Might have to add more later. <clears throat> so that's five. So obviously we'll have the screws in the middle. Split that off into two rows. Now, I don't know if I want to do it here or if I want to do it a bit further up. I'll do it a bit further up. Get everything around the corner first. Um. <laughs> oh, dearie me. So, yes, this. Do our reinforced iron plate or rotors? Two rotors first. We'll do the three rotors because they're a bit simpler, I think. Three rotors, and then we've got our reinforced iron plates. There we are. And I'm, I'm trying to think of the numbers we have. Twenty, right? So that can be done with a single one of these. Bring it out so it's right up there. Give us plenty of room. that and then we need a we need our splitters logistics there we go I knew I'd find it eventually so have it right up there one on that one on that one 
And one on that one. Just uh, get rid of that. <laughs> we'll just run it straight in, I think. Will that work okay? Running that straight in? Yes, it will. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. <coughs> So this is where things are going to get a little bit tricky, because we haven't got that much room. Uh, so we need one conveyor belt going up there for our, uh, what was it, the plates. Then we need another one, of course, for the screws. And that would be fine, but we need to split the screws first. Hmm... <laughs> I'm really trying to figure this one out now. Um, if we get... Can we get the screws going over the top? Hmm. I don't know. This is a tricky one. Uh, just trying to think. Because we haven't got our... Um, or do we? Do we have our... We do have our stackable conveyor poles. Right, that's fine. That's fine, we can do this. So, if I split the... If I split the screws, like down here somewhere, I'll send one along the bottom to do these. I'll send one over the top, which will then drop down in this space to do these two. Yeah? Sounds about right, doesn't it? <laughs> so what I'll do, I'll get that over the top of this. The problem, of course, is trying to get your stackable conveyor poles in just the right position. Oh, that's... That's quite good, but that's clipping, but that's too close. Okay, I'm going to have to do that there, then. And then slap that. See, that's too close again. But I, I need space to come down. <laughs> oh, it's going to have to do. It's going to have to do. Um, so how many of those do we need per minute? That's only 30. Right, good. Good. So that's that side done. So we need to get... Oh, this is confusing. I'm, I'm trying to get it all done in this space. But... Uh, <laughs> this is kind of frustrating. I, I, need to, I just need a little bit more space, and this would not be a problem. But I'm up against this rock. <laughs> I can't really go any further. I can get two down, the, down there, though, can't I? That's fine. Um, if I tell you what, I'll I'll get this out first. See, I, I want to do something like that. There we go. <laughs> so if I put one of those in front of that. I know it doesn't really make too much sense to put one here. I mean, just like that, it's... <laughs> what exactly are you doing? You're trying to get it... in there. That was really steep. <laughs> I was really wondering whether that would actually work. Okay, so... We need a lot of screws. So we'll need a Mark II into a splitter with a Mark II and a Mark I coming out. Now thankfully I can run two I can run two down there. So if I do that but pull that that way a little bit 
I'm really just trying to figure this one out now. Oh, I'm in a wall. So if I do that right up to the edge as much as I can. I'm just going to have to clip the belts. I'm just going to have to clip the belts. I mean, this isn't going to work otherwise. Not worth the space I actually have. The belts just aren't tight. The, belt. <laughs> the belts just aren't tight. I'll just slap that there. It's fine. What I need, of course, is melt two. You are aligned, aligned, and definitely clipping, but uh, yeah, it works. You got a mark two, so this is going to be okay. That's not straight at all, is it? <laughs> this is a mess. This is an absolute mess. I don't like this. This is an absolute mess. I should have that up there, really, shouldn't I? Yeah, come on, come on. Let's uh, let's sort all this out. Get this done properly. So if we put a splitter right up against that. So we have our Mark II belt in. There. Mark two belts. Oh, is it still clipping through that one? There. <laughs> Get it so it doesn't clip as much as possible. No, I don't want that to clip there. I, I, I want that there. You go. So down here. Rotatey's rotatey. That'll have to do. That'll absolutely have to do. <laughs> oh, as I die inside. Okay, that looks marginally better than what I had. Right. <clears throat> so these need 24 per minute, so each one of these only needs a Mark 1 belt. So that's a 24. We're looking at 48 then for the two of them. So coming out of this one then for those two, so all of these, all of these are going to be Mark 1 belts. See, in a proper factory, what I'd do is I'd have I'd have different things on different floors. But I don't have much space, and this is just a starter factory, just to get things up and running. So that's all. <laughs> that's all we're doing. So I want to move those in then to be in that sort of line. There we go. I don't think that's in right line at all, is it? <laughs> no, it is not. There. Again, this can be Mark 1 belts. I mean, it's being fed by a single Mark 1 belt, so... There we are. I'd like that, like that. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> oh, shall I prime the pump now? Yes, we'll hook up all of these. Build our, uh, our wall out. 
There's not enough space to walk around. <laughs> there really isn't. I'm going to need some more space as well at the back for our uh, for our output. See, this, this right here is why I don't like doing it sideways. But what choice do I have? I don't have the room. I could expand an extra square out that way, but I'd be up against my other factory. I don't want to do that. Okay, now I am, am going to have to deal with uh, power situation right now. So I can come over here. And I'm missing wire now. Okay, fine. I'll pick up some more wire. It's fine. We've got plenty. Got plenty. <laughs> We've got loads of wire. It's fine. It's no problem. <laughs> So just all the way along here? No, it's too long. It's too long. That's fine. We'll put that there. And hook you up. So I want to deal with that. But that can be a little bit later. Now, where can we run that factory off? Of course, that little power connector needs moving now. <laughs> oh, dear. We're just going to run it straight off here. There we can. We can. That, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. That will be fine. It's no problem. So yes, what we will need is our little... Our little wall outlet. Pop it there. Get our power in. Look that there, all those machines are on. So when it comes to output, we are going to need... I keep clicking the wrong one for these. I always do. So there. Push it a little bit forward. No, that, that's in the wall. I can't do that. I can't do that. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> I need to move those in. Yeah, there we go. That's fine. That's fine. Come on. Let's get another couple of these out. That's in the wall now. <laughs> I'll just put those there. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. So, what are our outputs looking? It won't be very high. Four per minute. That's fine. Over here we've got five minutes, that's also fine. All of that can be serviced with just our Mark I belt. Keeps things nice and easy. Then run this all the way down. Oh, wow, wow. That's like that. <laughs> I thought I saw a belt up there that wasn't quite low wasn't quite straight. Oh well. Uh, so. Yeah, come on, grab that from there. There we are. Lovely. So, line that up. I think that's in the middle. <laughs> I can never remember. I can never tell from either side where things are. So you can nip around the side. Now, knock it back a couple and pop in there like that. Like that, lovely. <laughs> so yes, we'll need a normal door for that. Get our walls out. And finish off the walls. We will come back and do the windows in just a moment. All I want to do now is put our put our little reminders. 
<laughs> in place. So what we need is we need one. Just one. That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> we need just the one of those. I don't actually know where that went. Oh, there it is. That's not entirely where I wanted it. Right in front. Should we look down or should we just look like that? Oh, we'll get this done in a minute. Ah, okay. Um, that's not bad, actually. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that there. That, that, that's kind of cool. Stop sliding around so much, please. This one. Keep pressing the wrong button. Oh, I've only got six of those. That's interesting. I thought I had more. Oh, and that's up then. I wish it was more consistent in where these things went. Brr. I keep pressing the wrong button. I will remember the right button. Where'd my screws go? It's still there. I didn't drop it. Right, fine. <coughs> oh dear, my voice. <laughs> Right, that's where I want it. That's where I actually want these things. No, wrong button. I was trying to move side to side, not actually open the build menu. See, once I get signs... There we go, that's perfect. Once we get signs, I'll be able to do that properly. Again, wrong button. Never mind. Okay, that's fine. I can deal with that. Now then, let's get some... Uh, <laughs> let's get plenty of ingredients. Not the word I really wanted to use, but uh, that's the word I have. Another stack of those. How much do I have? I've got plenty. I've got plenty of rods, that's for sure. I've got more than enough rods. Get a good couple of stacks of screws. Feed them in and see what happens. Ah. All the rods. There we go. <laughs> There we are, that's exactly what I wanted. I mean, it is sending far too many screws down this outside side. But it's going to do that until everything fills up. And it won't really fill up. So that one's full of stuff now. Question is, will it keep filling? Oh, it's got plenty. It's got plenty of things. And it's definitely taking it in faster than it's producing stuff. So that's fine. That will that will eventually fill up. First rotor. These are producing stuff now. Lovely. Oh, see, this is why you test. I don't have any, <laughs> any of these. Let's pick them up as they go past. There we go. <laughs> oh dear. That would help. That would help a lot. <laughs> Ah, if all the inputs were full, it would help a lot. But yeah, it's it's definitely sending too many this way. Even though it's a slower belt. It's because it's only being fed with enough stuff for that one. Oh, anyway, it doesn't matter. It'll sort itself out eventually. i got a feeling that right now I need more of these anyway. 
Look at this. I really needed just a, an extra foundation of room. I definitely needed an extra foundation of room, really. But here we go. Four in that one. Seven in that one. Yeah, that's going to produce a lot more rotors than I uh, expected, but... There we go. <laughs> it's all there, it's all working. And our power system... Uh, isn't too bad. At least that goes straight over there. That's fed from inside the factory. That little... That little nubbin should be on the front, really, but there we are. It works. It works. doesn't look too bad. Over here, our little nubbin is, of course, on the side. I could have put it on the front. I should really put it on the front, but there we go. There we go. I can live with that. And we've got four coming off of that, so we'd have to remove that connection to do it over there. Ooh, should we do that now? Yeah, might as well. I shall finish this off first. Oh, I need more pa I need more plates. Yes, I'm going to take it from here. I don't care. <laughs> so, a three, a gap, and then three. How big are we? Oh, look, it's got another space, another, another gap of two in the middle there. Interesting. It's funny how most of my designs seem to be working out that way. Really funny. Anyway. I definitely think I've lost a bit of my energy for this. So uh, do excuse me. our advanced parts sorted out let's come over here I need rods I've got plenty of rods it's fine I don't think I need screws on me I don't think there's anything that I can produce that needs screws Just remove that power line. I'll knock all of that offline, that's all fine. Knew that would happen. <clears throat> that's there, the power's in. Just hook that up with that now. Now, that doesn't make too much difference in the grand scheme of things, but it means that in the future I could just have a little... A power switch by the front door. Just to deactivate the entire factory should I need it. But there we go. There we go. Our whole factory complex is definitely getting bigger. Look at that. <laughs> oh dear, I'm sitting here thinking, wow. I really crammed that in, didn't I? So yes, we've got our uh, copper node there for um, copper plate when we get round to actually uh, using that. And there's an iron node over there uh, that I could incorporate into something further down the line. At the moment, this is manually fed. At the moment, it's all manually fed. So I, what I could do is get another another factory, basically another one of these and feed it into that but right now manually fed it's fine it's 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 working away nicely it's just a case of feeding it feeding it the materials it needs and it will chug away and do what it needs to do so in the next episode i think we'll be automating those smart plates <laughs> just bring that up I think we'll be automating these and doing phase one. Yes, indeed. I believe that is what we'll be doing. But 
as always with this series, I don't really like making promises on what we're going to be doing. Uh, because sometimes it doesn't work out that way. Anyway, uh, this has been going on for long enough now. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.